this is this one's saying the Islam, yeah, when Allah is saying they have corrupted it. So what parts like that? Oh, believe? so it is corrupt now. Oh, it because is. first you said yeah, I accept it that it's the books of Moses. It was the books of Moses, but they've corrupted it. That's what we're saying to you. Okay, so then how do you know the part where it says Hagar is the mother of Ishmael? They didn't corrupt that too. How do you know then it's Hagar? Show me from your Quran that Ishmael's mother is different from Isaac. Don't go to my Torah because you just said it can corrupt it. So that part can be corrupted. No, but you, no, but you know, Sam, yeah, we have Quran and the Hadith as well, yeah? So okay. it's in the... But the Hadith. Hadith comes 200 years later, and it's based on the information of the Jews and Christians that Muhammad is hearing and parroting. So why can't you show me from the Quran? <coughs> well, it's not... Let's see if you can answer that question. How about this? It's not, it's not in the Quran. Okay, well, that's why the Quran needs the Bible to make sense out of it. But then when no. we appeal to the Bible, show the Quran. Contract, contract. Contract. What? what? No, we, we, that's cool enough. no, we need the Quran and the Hadith or everything. Okay, all right. The Hadith, yeah. Okay, I was going to repeat myself like a circle. Okay, now, one more time. Let me ask you this. Jesus, when was he born and where, according to the Quran? It doesn't give the how long timing. Did he minister? How, how long was his ministry, according to the Quran? It doesn't. It doesn't tell you. But it tells how many you, disciples probably, did he have? It doesn't. It doesn't tell you. What about their names? No, it doesn't tell you at all. But even the Quran says that the disciples of Jesus were made victorious, and Allah made them powerful and defeated their enemies. And you don't know their identity, who they are. But it's obviously when when Allah says that He gave Jesus the Injil, it will it will be in the Injil. But we don't have the Injil. Okay, so that's my point. If you don't have it, then who are they? Huh? Who are they then? You don't have the Injil, so who are they? <laughs> Well, they are he. Well, he had his titles, but, but exactly, we don't know the exact names. So here, the Quran says that the disciples were empowered by Allah to defeat the unbelievers, and they became dominant, and they would be dominant till the day of resurrection, and they disappeared because you don't know who they are. So you just falsified the Quran. No, but the disciple it, it says it says in the Quran that there were Muslims as well. Okay, but who were one. they? What was their identity? You said you don't know. Well, how can't you know who they were if Allah made them victorious and they became dominant and they overcame and they'll remain dominant until they have resurrection? You said they disappeared. Well, we don't have their names in the Quran or the Hadith anyway. That's one. One so, how do we know then that they became victorious and they remained uppermost if they disappeared? Then that means the Quran is false. How? Because if Allah said they won, 61 14, they won, they defeated the unbelievers and they were victorious. And Allah would make them victorious in their resur resurrection. How could they be victorious and be dominant and they will remain dominant till their resurrection if you don't know who they are, you don't know their message, and they disappeared? What do you mean, how? Well, the disciples of God, them disciples of God, they're in their but graves. The Quran says they won. Why did they disappear? Didn't anyone they, remember them? Didn't anyone receive their message and preserve it? Because the Quran says they won and their message and them would be uppermost and dominant until the day of resurrection. So why don't you know who they are? What was their message? Who were their successors? Because it says they persecuted the unbelievers and they would remain dominant, meaning those who then believed in him would then be dominant to the resurrection. Who are they? What's their name? What's their message? So we 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 believe that they were we believe that they were teaching Islam. We we How do you know what they're they teaching were... if you don't have their message. No, because it says in the Quran that they were, they were, they were. Prove they it. Were, Give me their prove. names. What are the names? Oh, Show me them so I can investigate. They, they have names, but it says that the disciples of Jesus were, were okay. Muslim. So how do I know the Quran is not lying? I need to investigate. So I want to know their names so I can see if the Quran is lying about them. So what are the names so I can see who they are, what they left behind, what their message was? Give me their names. Sam, you, Sam, you know there's no names. There's exactly. no names you mentioned. So you proved the thesis of the session tonight. The session was the Quran needs the Bible. The Bible doesn't need the Quran. And you got stuck. So you just proved our point. 